very sure now that I've purchased compost from a local supplier that has been poisoning all of my plants. Hey, welcome to the club. I think I'm in the same boat. <laughs> It's a bad time for this to happen. I know, dude. Uh, but on this positive side, now that I know what has happened, how can I speed up the repair of my 30 inch permanent beds? Say run an old school 24 inch tiller into the soil and dilute the tissue, uh, further spreading up, further spreading up the breakdown. Then with wood, uh, hip alleys, let the fungi, the fungal environment take over. Curtis, what's your advice? Have you ever had this happen when you purchase compost? Thanks for your advice. Yes, the, I actually have this problem right now. The uh, compost that I filled up in my beds sucks this year. It's the last time I'll buy compost from the city. Uh, it was the Glen Grow. They just, I, I've used it for years and it, it's, it's generally been an okay product. But this year, very woody, uh, not composted well at all. Uh, it's kind of what happened to Eric Schultz last year on his farm, uh, which was, you know, horrendous for him. I mean, I'm still growing stuff. We're kind of getting through it, but man, like my strawberries are hurting this year. They're just hurting. Um, and there's wood bugs everywhere in it that are, that are eating all new growth that comes up. It's quite frustrating. I would say for the most part, 75% of my garden is fine, uh, but 25% isn't, um, so yeah, it sucks. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm like, I, I don't really want to dig out to, uh, strawberries and then till and plant again, though. I think you're on long, the right thinking, uh, to till it in aerate it, that compost might, might break down quicker and then get new fresh compost and start again. You could do that. Um, but other than that, you know, you're really looking at putting in, that lack of nitrogen that you're probably uh, lacking um, in that soil. That's what happens when, when, when compost doesn't get broken down all the way, it gets tied up and uh, the nitrogen gets tied up and uh, you, you, you have a significant lack of nitrogen in your soil. That's typically what happens with bad compost, um, at least in my experience. And so, yeah, I think you're along the, the right train of thought there, brother. <laughs>